Hello, in this video we are going to see a simple case of indifferent curves and budget constraint. Let's assume that I can eat two good, one and two, let's say apple and orange, and this function measure the level of satisfaction that in economy is usually called utility function. So if I eat zero and zero, I get zero satisfaction. If I eat 20 apples and 20 oranges, I get this level of satisfaction. Now, if we turn this figure, then we get this, and then this curve that you see here, one, two, these three curves, are the indifferent curves, which mean that in all of these points, the level of satisfaction is the same. In mathematics, this is a level curve or a contour curve in which the evaluation of the function is exactly the same. All of these points evaluate to the same value of this function. So this is in different curves. By the constraint means that if you have good one apple and good two orange and assuming that the price of one apple is one dollar and the price of one orange is one dollar then if you have a budget of ten dollars it means that you can buy a certain amount of apples and a certain amount of oranges and the sum has to be ten assuming these prices so it means that if you buy only apples then you get this point zero orange ten apples and if you buy only oranges then you have zero apple and ten oranges so this line connect all of the points that satisfy this constraint so in all of these points this constraint is satisfied for example here you have five apples and five oranges so this is called the budget constraint and this line is called the budget line so the objective of the problem is to maximize this utility function but subjected to this budget constraint now what happens if the prices changes let's say for example that the price of the apple go from one dollar to two dollar then in this case with ten dollars i can buy only ten divided by two i can buy only five apples so in this case what you have here is this and then the budget line is going to be this one and here you have budget divided by 10 divided by 1 which is 10 so if the price of apple is 2 then the budget constraint is going to be 2 times this so in general what you have is price times quantity equal to the budget which is 10 so now if we relate this now if we relate this line to the utility function then we say that with if we buy only apple you have this point if you buy only oranges you have this point and then here in three dimension you have this and then you have this line but if you see this in three dimension this is a plane where the solution you find it buying five oranges and five apples and then as you want to maximize the utility which is this point then we say that buying this quantity of apples and oranges you maximize the utility function now if we turn this graph then we see that in this point we get the maximum utility that is 2.5 so if you turn in the other direction this curve then you see this uh, assuming that you remove the surface and if you take only the base of this parallel pipette then you get this which is very similar to this and then you find the solution in this point phi and phi and if you find good 1 and phi good 2 
then you get a level of satisfaction which is 2.5 now in all of the point that connect this yellow in different curve the function evaluate to the same value 2.5 now we have to justify why the optimum is found where the budget line is tangent to this in different curve and graphically you can see that in this point the level of satisfaction is 2.5 and if you take for example this point and this point the level of satisfaction you have it here is 2 which is less than 2.5 it means that this is the point that satisfy the budget constraint with the maximum level of satisfaction if you choose let's say this point right here you have the value 1 which is even less than 2 so this is the point that satisfies the budget constraint with the maximum possible uh, satisfaction level now if you choose a point let's say right here over the yellow line the, this point will not verify the budget constraint so conclusion in the optimal solution the indifferent curve is tangent to the budget line and this is the concept that we are going to use to explain Lagrange in following videos okay now here we talk about the consumer behavior the same reasoning you can apply to firms in which let's say that you want to produce uh, labels and in order to produce label you use a printer machine and a cutting machine so you use this raw material then you print and then you get the printed label and then you use the cutter to have the final product so if you want to buy printer and cutter and you have this function which uh, measure the uh, return of this investment in let's say one year or so then you want to find the optimum quantity of printer and, and cutter that you can buy in order to maximize this utility function so in this case let's say that you have printer here cutter here and this is let's say $1,000 and this is $1,000 and or oh, one million and one million dollars and the budget is ten million dollars so what you have to find is the quantity of printer and budget that you have to buy in order to maximize this utility function so in future videos we're going to use um, this view or this view uh, depending on the context okay that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next videos